This video was originally part of a Udemy series, and I've decided to make it available for free for you right here on YouTube. Welcome back. Our third lecture is called The Unique Selling Proposition, and I'm going to tell you all about that in just a second, but it is something you need for your business, not just your website, but your entire business. You can apply this to everything you're doing in your marketing today. Let's go to work. If you remember in our last lecture, we decided what the product benefit was and why it was so important. Well, this is a little bit related to that. You see, the unique selling proposition is also a product benefit, but it's a product benefit that only you offer. And that's the primary difference between a benefit and the unique selling proposition. Let's take an example. Burger King, a couple of years back, had a campaign called have it your way. Now, that was never a unique selling proposition. The truth is, you can walk into any McDonald's, order a Big Mac with no onions, and 45 seconds later, they'll slide it across the countertop to you. So anywhere you go, any fast food restaurant will pretty much make their hamburger the way you want it. Avis, on the other hand, the car rental company, has an excellent unique selling proposition. We try harder. Now, why do they try harder? Because they're number two and they have to work harder for your business. Now, Avis must be in a terribly competitive segment because Enterprise also works harder. Their unique selling proposition is they'll come pick you up. They'll come to your house, take you back to the rental agency, and from there, you can take that car onto the airport. I know this because they've done it for me before. So Avis and Enterprise both have excellent, unique selling propositions. Now, here's something important. You need to be able to distill your unique selling proposition down into something called an elevator speech. You need to be able to tell somebody in 15, 20 seconds, no more than two sentences, who you are, what you do, and how you benefit them. And if that benefit happens to be a unique selling proposition, that is a whole lot better. So there must be something you do better than your competitors or something different. What differentiates you from your competitors? Perhaps you offer free delivery and those guys don't. That is a unique selling proposition and there'll be people order from you strictly because of that. By the way, you may hear something called the unique selling point. Don't sweat that. It's the exact same thing as a unique selling proposition. And your unique selling proposition doesn't really have to be a big deal to be effective. What if you were a petite lady and you found out your cat litter is quite heavy? An entire national ad campaign was built around that exact unique selling proposition. So if you have the lightest kitty litter, in this case, it's easier to use for a petite lady. Throw it at her, she's got it coming. Now, let's take one example from the tourism industry. So my friend John had a problem. You see, in Williamsburg, Virginia, several major timeshare companies have moved into town. They're building large, lavish resorts, and they've actually put under several hotels and a couple of other bed and breakfast. John was under financial pressure, just like every other bed and breakfast in Williamsburg. I needed to come up with a way to help his website find new customers. And it had to be a unique selling proposition that the timeshares could not match. And so after some thought, I came up with an idea. You see, every bed and breakfast in the area and, and probably across the United States, they all talk about the same things. They're beautiful gardens pillow top mattresses and the luxury of their suites. Well, many people go to Colonial Williamsburg because they want to experience 
the colonial life, the romance of the 18th century. So we changed John's focus on his website around to the romance of the 18th century. It also turns out that John Millar is a very interesting guy in his own right. You've seen his work, whether you realize it or not. Have you ever seen Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World? That movie was filmed on a ship designed by John. How about Pirates of the Caribbean? Do you remember the small ship, The Interceptor? That ship, in fact, is the Lady Washington in real life. It's a reproduction John designed for the state of Washington. You see, Washington State is named after the ship, not the lady. So, the Lady Washington ship has been in several movies. Now, that helped John. It gave him something that differentiated his product from all the other bed and breakfast and even the major timeshares in town. That helped him save his business. So you can see how important a unique selling proposition is. I hope some of this was helpful for you. And if it was, thank you. And I'll see you in the next lesson. If you have a question, though, don't hesitate to email me. Thank you. And I'll see you shortly.